I need to point out that I don't really like this gun. M110, it's not my favorite. So folks, I keep telling you to have a plan before you jump into the battle. So did I, I had a plan. I wanted to test myself with M110 because I think I'm not good with that gun. I wanted to jump into farm lockdown zone solo mode and you know test if I can keep myself alive, check whether if I can bring out some good loot, but something happened. Something happened during the game and you know, I had to change my plan. Have a look and let me know if I've been doing the right thing. Without spoiling it, I want to understand whether you would have done it in the same way or maybe stayed in the battle for a bit longer. And again, I, I don't want to reveal what happened. Let me know and have fun watching the video. No noises. That bot is alive. Yes. There were no spawns here. Maybe only villa. Okay, I'm gonna check the villa from the upstairs. Oh my gosh. Actually pretty nice. 20 kilograms if i pick this up basically you know, what I, uh, i'm gonna be i'm gonna be overloaded with stuff okay let's check the villa really hard to see if you know if you have like, the glasses the windows even I think there wasn't any movement. Guys, what to do with the, that battery? I don't really often find this item. Okay, maybe we're gonna change our plans. Like 140k is pretty decent. It's like, you know, half a red item. So my plan was to like clear the motel as is. But maybe what we're gonna do and I always say that you should have a plan. So maybe what we're gonna do is to check Villa. And after we check Villa, instead of going into the motel, we're gonna just extract near the motel. How does it sound? Even if we don't find enemy players. If you listened to my previous video on how to play as the underdog, like, you know, against squats, I'm definitely an underdog now, I'm alone. So I need to play according to that. My plan was to go uh, eventually into the trade center and then motel and then extract. Or villa and then motel and extract. But maybe we're gonna maybe we're gonna um, skip the motel. Let's see. I don't really like that awkward. Um, Silence. And it actually happened that nobody spawned on this side. Maybe somebody spawned over there. No spawns near this house and no spawns near the villa or in the villa. Back of the villa. Okay. I'm gonna be brave and just run was some noise coming from the right hand side but I think that's just the bot. There are usually bots up there. Oh I'm already exhausted. This, this battery is really heavy. I'm not even sure if I ever found it before or I think I never extracted with this battery. Anyways, let's see. So yeah, I was right. Nobody was here. Everything is untouched. And also this locker, in this green locker, I never find anything that is useful. Now, no. So that's the 
doesn't really contain any high-end loot. Let me circle back to what I said. I think it doesn't make sense to play the maps if you don't have keys. So I have the trade center key, I have the villa key, and um, I have the motel key. key. What is it? 201. Hopefully that's safe in the villa. The room next to us is going to give us a red. Be really nice. That lamp is cool, it's like 3k or such. Okay, and stamp is also fine. Okay, wish me luck. I don't want to be too slow because if people from the other side... Ah, oh, I'm just running past the motel and I'm gonna face them. And maybe it, that's gonna be a, like a one versus one versus two, three, or whoever knows what. This winter coat. This is usually having nice stuff. Not this time. Toothpaste. Okay, and now document box. Okay. Good. Interesting that I I, I didn't even hear footstep noise is nothing so maybe it could have happened that they directly ran to the motel or stables without, without entering the villa i don't know it happened But actually, I want to test the gun in action. I think somebody is here. Must be a bot. There's usually a bot standing up here. closer and then check that, that house on the right hand side. I still don't know the name of it. I'm not even sure if it has an official name. Just want to check if the door is open and such. That bot actually hear me. Interesting. That is unlooted. Maybe I'm just gonna take the risk and uh, have a look around inside. Good. Checking the other side. Okay, strange. Strange. Awkward silence everywhere. No noises from the hotel. Nothing. Okay, give me a key. Give me a key and then, and then we're good. Okay, isn't that bad. My bag is already full of, because of that battery. Okay, one more key please and then, then we're good. I mean, I'm happy to extract with 200k. It's always tempting to... Oh, good stuff, good stuff. It's always tempting to like overextend. I could definitely go into the motel and have a look around, but why would I? I mean, what would you do? Let me know in the in the comments, guys, if you're still watching this video at this point. What would you do? 
would you aim to extract like here i think um, yeah it just opened or would you risk and go into the motel it's gonna still go downstairs I'm not sure if you can see by looking at my gameplay that I still have some difficulties with uh, you know how I control the phone. Everything is just very sensitive. Everything is fluid. Everything is super nice, but sometimes I still struggle. But it's okay. It's okay. 61 kilograms. Oh my goodness. Radio. Not sure, guys, if you usually pick up these non, you know, non-purple items. Some of them, you know, have pretty good price. I, I, 2K, 3K, 4K. Whenever you find something to drink, you know, use that during the battleground. Many players, I think, many players don't care about uh, hydration, and um, whenever I find something to drink, I just, just drink it. Okay, no good loot here, and now now we need to be cautious. Nothing. Guys, no sounds. Nothing. There's an airdrop left to us. Maybe I'm gonna check that. Actually, I don't really like checking that. It's like in the open area. And therefore, a bit risky. Maybe if I hide in the... Yeah, in that bush, maybe. I'm not that visible. Oh my gosh, what is this? What is this? You kidding me? And it's locked down. This container isn't even there on, uh, on the simple version of the map. So I cannot put the better into my secure container, so I cannot secure it. Therefore, even if you feel that this is going to be, you know, boring, if I just extract, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to tell you why. This is how, how you should be thinking as well. This is how what you should be doing as well. Don't, you know, overextend. Don't overextend, don't take the risk if you know it doesn't make sense to take the risk. There's a bot here by the way. Okay. Just for fun, let's use our grenade. Okay, we're just gonna, go, we're gonna pay and now i'm hearing some some movement maybe from stables it's from far away but this is what i told you guys multiple times like have a plan be open to change your plan if needed and uh you know don't take unnecessary risk i'm playing alone i'm playing solo you know there are highly geared players on lockdown i could have um had a look in, in the motel, but what if I face the boss? What if, if I accidentally get shot by bots and I get a severe injury? You know, what if it wasn't worth um, you know, the risk and I don't find anything in the safes? You should be okay with the 200K. Securing 200K is better than risking it and then dying. Would you agree with that? Would you guys agree with that? Or do you think I made the wrong choice here? I started the video with saying that I want to test the M1 and the 10, which I obviously didn't do. But again, I think this is a good footage, a good recording to like validate what I keep saying that have a plan, be open changing your plan. And there you go, 200K extracted. Ah, uh, let me know what you think. Happy gaming. Have a nice day. See you in the next one. Shady out.